Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try My Name's Retromation. This is Dimwood, a free roguelike deck builder made for the 1-bit game jam that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. It looks quite neat, so let's pop on in and see what it's all about. Starting with the tutorial. Welcome to Dimwood. This tutorial will explain the basics of the PIP system and the interface. Okay. Here is a card. Cards are made up of phrases, each of which can contain up to five pips. Okay. You can mouse over the cards and their pips to read what they do. Does not require a light level. Prevents five damage. Gotcha. Select a card from your deck. Here are some sword pips. I'm assuming that's a sword. Which you can attach to that card. Select a card by clicking it and press attack. Attach. <laughs> Too full. Use the up and down keys or click on an empty phrase to select it and press confirm to attach the pips. Gotcha. So if the light level is light, dim, or dark, we can have it do three attack. Okay. Let's say, I don't know, dark. Most card phrases require certain light levels to be activated, which are shown in the left column of the card. Okay. Okay. Here are some cards that will just adjust the light level. Now let's move the combat. Lighten, darken, lighten, darken. Move the light level down, move it up, down, up. Let's go, I'm scared. Hey, it's still, I just, wanted to, I just wanted to let you know that I was. I didn't need you to do anything about it, so I'm glad that we're just moving on. This represents your health. If it runs out, you lose. This is the energy. Every card costs one. You get three per turn, and at the end of your turn, you discard your hand and get five new cards. Enemies also have health and energy. You can see all the cards they will play from left to right at the top of the screen. The light level is indicated on the left of the screen as you change the light level card. As wait, as you change the light level, cards will have different effects. Enemies can change the light level too. Pay attention to when enemy cards will change the light level and change the effects of their other cards. Interesting. Almost got like a little puzzle element to it then. So you are, you have three energy, so you're going to be playing three cards. At any light level, you're going to up the light level. And if it is, if the light level is dim, you will attack for one. If it's light, you'll shield for two. So basically, I can either have it be dim or bright or light and they will prevent to block, or prevent to damage with to block, or I could make it um, dark, and it will make it so they only do one attack to me, which might not be a big deal. And this is probably like, does not require light level, probably means this will do this no matter what. No matter what, it's gonna give me one, and there's, if it's dark, it'll do another. This is really neat, okay. So what do we have? We have, if the light level is dark, we get to do the giga stack thing. So let's uh, go ahead and put the light level down to dark. And now, if I'm correct, yeah, we gain all five block and we gain, we do all three attack. That's really interesting. Okay. So if we have all that block, I guess this probably works the best. We just, what, end turn? I don't really need to adjust anything anymore. So you move it up. You go for the smack, go for that. Alrighty. So now what do we got here? Move the light level to dim, no matter what. It just makes it dim. And then you will do an attack, gotcha. So I suppose, same deal, move down, do this. I mean, you're dead. We don't even need to think about what we would do after that, but all right. This concludes the tutorial. Good luck exploring the Dimwood. Very neat. It's it's a very simplistic system, like that is surprisingly like elegant and could be very rich, which I feel like complements a one-bit style very well, which is extremely simplistic, but can be very rich. You venture into the Dimwood. Okay. Deal one damage if unblocked heal. All right, so we are going to want you to... We're going to want it to be light. If it's light, move it down by one. 
So how can I... Uh... Ooh, I don't know if I have a way to make it light. If it's dark, make it light. Okay, so we can actually move down one. If it's dim, attack. Okay, let's do that. We'll do this first unless we can get more damage out here. If it is dark, okay. So step one, attack here, which is an attack and then it makes it dark. And then we go for this, which should be four damage. And then we switch it from dark into light. Which should make it so you don't really do very much. Move the light level down by one. Perfect. That should be fine. You shouldn't you shouldn't really do much aside from blocking a bit. Okay. Yeah, I get it. It's it's interesting because it really is a little bit more of like a a, a puzzle take on things. Okay, so. I really need to block a lot. Seems to be the gist of it. Can I make it light? Does not require a light level. Uh, if it's dim, we do an attack. I mean, I think that we're fine to just go for... Like, the rinky dink attack here. We're already full blocking. But if it becomes night, does that make something happen for you? You get one extra block... That's fine. If I think that we can we can deal. We're not going to be taking on block damage, so they're not going to be getting any healing. Works for us. All right, so they intend to move the light level down. All right. So at the end of the turn, we're going to want to we're going to want to Make it dark, I guess, with this. And then at the end of the turn, make sure we swap there. No matter what we do, it does an attack and a block. Okay. We're more than fine there. Bring it on, pup. So basically, it seems like this guy, as long as we are able to, uh, to make it day again, we are good to go. Um, speaking of... Speaking of... I actually don't have a good way to do it. If the light level is dark... We can do 1, 2 damage, 1, 2, 3. If the light level's dim, we get to do an attack over here. So we can actually do this to do one damage. This to do two damage, which puts us into dark, which makes this do three. This is really neat. This is a really neat little thing, huh? Uh, pick a reward. Clumsy stab. If it's dim, deal one. Whoa. No matter what, do two damage. But if it is dim or dark, you stab yourself. Hurt. No matter what, deal damage yourself. Deal huh. Broken Scythe seems to be the uh, probably the right way to go. If it's dark, we deal two damage, heal one. If it's dim, we deal one damage, potentially heal one. If it's light... Yeah, I think that Broken Scythe... It seems like it's the right choice by a long shot. Hmm. Gain two max HP. You find a place to rest and eat. You take the time to organize your equipment. Pick a card to salvage. So we just added an attack. But these also are helping it move towards nighttime. So do I be so bold as to remove a defend? Or do I be so bold as to remove a light switch? Probably not. In case we're facing somebody who really needs the day. Because then they can have it be daytime. I could just whoop, flip it to night. This is tough. I, I see the value in every card that we have. I'm going to say we can probably get rid of one quick blade. Since we added another attack. You recovered a sword pip. Attach. Okay. 
So I can put it somewhere else. Certainly if I add it to here, they, they're not going to just become... I'm going to do it anyways. That's going to be our big payoff card. Salvage another. And now that I know that we're going to be getting a... Uh... Oh, we got a sword pip from that. I wanted to get a shield pip from that. Oh, you son of a gun. You son of a gun. I guess we should put the sword probably on the... um the anytime part of the dark blade probably makes the most sense like so no matter what that's going to be doing it all right move the light down you intend to you have three actions you are going to go for the uh, the triple attack that's that's pretty much it okay if it is bright so what, what is this one If it is dim, get back. Oh. Get back one of your energies used to play card. Okay. All right. Well, that's a freebie. That's just a complete freebie. I have the three here. And, and, ah. Nighttime makes me get an extra block, right? No. If it's bright, we get an extra block. So I guess that's our little bit of a tricky situation, I suppose. We don't get anything for it being dark as we do that. Life stealing here isn't going to help us very much because I'm not missing any health. So I am going to take one hit. Unless we wanted to use, uh, to not use like our three damage blast cards, we're going to have a little bit of a problem. Ooh, what the hell? Okay. You're going for triple attack. If I just make it... If I just make it light... I could just attack, attack, make it light. Am I mistaken? Oh, they're dead anyways. Never mind. I forgot that, that uh, the flip card had uh, an attack on it there. Deals one damage to your opponent. Spreads? What? Light shield... If it is light, get to block. If it's dim, do a damage. So it's sort of like we want we would want to take these to salvage, right? I'm gonna take the moss because I have no idea what that means. I'm gonna do the question mark. Find an old worksman's altar. A few of the tools still work. You may remove a pip and attach it somewhere else. Ooh. Okay. Remove the last pip from this. Deal the damage spread. I don't know. I kind of want to take... The shield. Remove the shield pip from the daytime and pop it onto Ooh, yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. We could put it on the uh the dark. So if we like we spend all of our time in the dark, that actually could be quite good. But if it's not dark already, we could put it on the anytime we run the risk of I mean, it's probably fine. Put it on moss. I just don't know. What the, I don't know what the hell this does. If it's deal a damage to your opponent, and then, like, this, what, goes on another... I don't know. Light switch. I may not always want to use it. I think that popping it onto a sword is a good call. The question is just... Where? I'll put it on the dark of that one. That one's popping off. Pick an artifact to add... What the hell? How is this made in a game jam so quick? Whenever you play a card with exactly three sword pips, add a blank pip. I don't know what that is. Whenever you play a card, add two, two attack damage for each self damage. 
Whenever you play a card, exchange all of the shield and sword pips. I don't think we want to do that right now. I'll get the Psy. So these probably have, quote-unquote, exactly that amount. Give me a shield out of this. Okay, finally, I got a shield. Good, that helps. I'm going to attach it to the dark part. And in we go. This could not possibly uh, backfire. So what the hell are you doing? You like it to be dark. Oh, but you also self-damage. So you do four damage. You're going to be doing eight damage. Oh, my God. If I leave it, you're going to be doing 10 damage. That's not good. I also can't really make it light. Yeah, so that's the thing. Is we, we really do need a good balance, don't we? This guy's wild. So I guess I don't want to hmm, do that so we can heal. We'll go for the one, two. We don't want to adjust it. We are going to take a little bit of damage. It's just going to have to be okay. It's better than taking a lot of bit of damage. He is also self-damaging as he does it. Okay. This is way more workable. Now we want it to be dark. Music to my ears. Uh, if it is dim, get back what we used to spend on it. Beautiful. Price it to be dark. Move the light to dim. Shoot. Yeah, this is the downside. Is it, it Unless we have a couple of these, it's going to be a little bit tricky. We want it to be dark, so I'll do that because I do want to get the block. Should have done this first. We do this first because if it's not light or dark, if it's dim, it just stays dim because it does the reverse. Yeah, we should have done this one first to get an extra block and attack. It's not going to matter. We're not going to be taking any damage. And we kind of want to cycle back to our Necromancer ability anyways. Because then we could get out of this with a heal. Woo, boy. This attack is wild. It's dark right now, so we could do three. So I don't know what that pip is. Let's find out. I don't know. If I hover, if I shift, if I control, if I left click, if I right click, nope. No dice. So it is dark. It's not required if it's dim. Yeah, we have two left, so if we flip it, does that help us that much? Not necessarily. If it's dim, you get a free block. If it's if it's light, we just want four block. We're not going to be getting four block regardless. Because if I do this, it's going to set it to dim. Which is maybe fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be okay with you grabbing a little bit of block. I think that's just okay, right? It's, I think it's the best possible outcome, because, yeah, you self damage, so we have we just need to do four damage here. You have two block, so we'll move this down to dark, and we should get healed back up to full. Beautiful. This is so cool. Oh, we can take the goblin daggers. Glance. No matter what, move the light level down by one. So the thing is, if you go for something like this, you can remove these symbols. There's there's ways to remove the symbols and then put them on nothing. If it's dim, this basically does nothing. <clears throat> Dark Shimmer. 
If it's dark, prevent an extra damage. I guess that's better for, for us. I'll take a dark shimmer. Yeah, why not? Which means, should I remove a standard shimmer? We have this block. We have we have moss. Don't know if I want to get rid of those. If I get rid of moss, can I? Am I definitely gonna get a mushroom card? I am. Okay. What does that do? I don't know yet. Let's put it on the dark shimmer. Why not? What could go wrong? Okay, if it's dark, you get extra block. If it is dim, add a poison to... Okay. Two self-damage and then poison. We don't want to do that yet. Oh, one second. My AC turned off. All right. So I think we're going to be looking for it to be light. So we can do that pretty easily by popping down. Attacking while we're still here, so we keep that full value. And then swapping night to day. So you get a block, nothing, and then you hurt yourself removing your one block. Sure, dude. So we have... Dim or dark... Okay, looks like getting, uh, the good news is getting to dark would be ideal for us. We love to hear that. We sh if we were at dim, we could have played around with this. Well, this still does four damage. Three, three gives us whatever the hell that blade is. Is it three damage? It, surely it's not a three damage attack. That'd be too crazy. That'd be too crazy. We're already at heal, full heal. Health. <laughs> Uh, so we can go for the attacker. All right. Sucks to suck, dude. He's going to get a couple blocks. He's going to get three blocks, and then he's going to move it to dim, which is fine. You know what? Let's find out what mushroom is. Well... I don't know. Beats the hell out of me, but the man's dead. Pick a card. Steady Bash. This is just like a lot of stuff. If it's light, we get extra value. If it's dark, deal a damage to yourself. Gotcha, that's the catch. Move the light level up by one and deal a damage to yourself. Dark Shield. Oh, God, it's like... It's not a lot. It's a block and then an extra block if it's dark. Eh? I'm like neutral, neutral on all these, but I kind of want to salvage. So I'm going to salvage Dark Shield because it should probably, definitely, possibly give me a shield. I mean, it's same deal. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. We'll get rid of the conditional, and then we're going to put this block on, um, you know, maybe we should just, like, have it on the unconditional block, I guess. Salvage card. We have not needed to heal. We're going to be salvaging the dark shield to hopefully get a shield. Good deal. That worked out so well. That was so quick. The payout for that. This is really neat. Your heart pips no longer have a chance to break. Huh? Whenever you play a heart pip, if it breaks, it spread a mushroom in its place. Whenever you play a light down pip, if the light level is dark, add two attack pips. Oh, that's our jam. Hello, mister. You st I'm going to assume you like it light. Gain a health has a 50% chance. Gotcha. I... Well, it was just about to become relevant, I'm sure. Move the light level up. Okay, so yeah, we, we want it to be dark. No surprise there. 
First things first, we play this because it's free if we play it right there. Uh, no matter what, you're going to be doing two damage to me. So you're going to... If it's dim... Oh, only if it's dim. So if it's dark, you do nothing except for heal. Have a chance to heal. And then it'd be dark. And then you'll move it up to dim and do two damage. And then you will be doing... So you're going to be doing three damage in a block if I make it dark, which I am intending to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's crazy. Did any of those break? Okay. Same deal. If we could just make it nighttime, we've got ourselves a beautiful situation. So I did the mushroom. I don't have any... Do I, I have two block. If it's dark, move it up by one. Do two damage. Alright, fine. Fine, 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 fine. It is like... It does quickly say what they would do if it was that time. But I guess it wouldn't have been that time, would it? Okay, so it's bright. We can just flip it. Oh, God. Okay. Whew. If we make it dark, then we take two damage. And then it goes up to light. And then you will be, you'll be able to do this full blast anyways, right? Yeah. No matter what, you're going to be able to do the full blast. That is not great. So I think I need to... We flipped it to dark. If it was dim, we get one, two, three. I don't know, man. We do this, we move it to dim. We get the free one extra damage. I think that we'll be able to block it all. We're hopefully getting through the uh, the heal cheese. Ow. Yeah. Okay, this guy is a little bit of a jerk. Little bit of a jerk. It is light. So this is the this is the card where we want it to be dark, and then if it's dark, move the light up, damage, and then explode. Oh my god. So we're going to be taking two damage, three damage, and a block, light. Okay, so we need to move it. Hmm. Shoot, we actually can't really get exactly where we want with that, but we can move down to dim, which is makes this free. I'm going to play this first. God, this is going to hurt. So the thing is, these will go away. Block, attack, attack, block, attack, attack. So we ended up not taking anything. Good, 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 good. I don't have the, di the daytime, nighttime card. No matter what. Okay, so it, oh God. We definitely need it to be dim. And then that would make this light, which means we're going to be taking a whopping four damage. So the good news is, if I do this, I am already blocking the four. So we can go for uh, some smacking. All right, next turn, I think we got it. I think we got it next turn. Boom, block, block. Heal block, attack, attack. Yep, blocked it all. 
We have the vampire. We do not have the vampire. Okay. Yeah, this is that's kind of what I anticipated. It, it spreads to another part of that card. The mushroom seems... It's pretty good, then. Like, the longer the fight goes on, the better. That guy sucked, though. I hated him. Mm. Super block. If it's light, smoke bomb. If it's light, move down. Block, block. Remove this card from combat. If it is dim, guard, block, block. If it is dark, block, block, block. I think we can... Uh, we can deal with that. At this point, what do we want to remove? We like... I think we like the ones that have these three attacks here. I'm pretty sure. I could, re I could maybe remove a light switch. It's a little bit scary. I'm going to try. I'm going to try because I want to know what we get. We have a make it daytime. Cool. Okay. We... We could do something with that. We could pop that on, like, a block. As kind of like a... Grand finale. Or we could put it on, like, uh... We could put it on Broken Scythe after we do the dark thing. You know, we could go for the attack and lifesteal. Because we always want it to be the last thing we do anyways, because we want to have broken through their block before we play it. So putting it on Broken Scythe is like, here's our grand finale, and then we get the hell out. Like, that is not a bad idea. We just need to make sure that... We just need to make sure that it is the last thing we play. Shouldn't be too hard to forget. Ah, you know what? What's it gonna be? Oh, that is not what I was hoping to get out of that one. That is not what I was hoping to get out of that one. Oh, well. Sword. Is there a way I can make something have three swords? Uh. It won't let me put it anywhere else? Oh, no, that's right. Okay. Pop it there. Block three, move it to dim. Move down, block, block. Add a poison. Oh, so there's nothing I can do. You're going to move it to dim. You're going to move it down. It is going to be dark. So you're going to have three block, five block, do two damage to apply the poison. Urgh. Do not love the poison element there, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Huh, didn't get a lot of, like, damage here. I'll do that, get the, uh, the mushroom spreading, hopefully. That's a rel like, relatively good amount of damage. Okay, you went down to 10. Okay, there's the poison business. Okay, you're doing a super block. Hold on. Can I just kill? Yeah. I should have played this one. Good God. I didn't realize I was going to be so killer. Oh, hey, that's not a bad idea. Just no matter what, it becomes light. Nest. Ooh. Move it. I like that, too. Yeah, we'll do the nest. I am a man of the darkness, what can I say? Alright, what card are we, uh, are we ripping apart? Move the light level to dim. Okay. If we just... We could just put that on anything. That's crazy. Okay, so now, I mean, I'm not gonna... We should also remove one of these and put it on something that has, hopefully, two attack. 
to try and move something into having three. What are you doing? You intend to move the light up. Okay, if it's dark... So the best I could expect is go for dark. You get two block, but you lose one of it. And then you'll be doing two damage, three damage. And then you'll be doing, oh my god! And then you'll be doing another four? Okay, so we need tons of block. There's a lot of block and a little bit of damage. We also got the mushroom. Okay, hold on. Yikes. I'm assuming you just never want it to be dark. It's gonna be dim no matter what. Yeah, I mean, like, we want it to be dark, so do we get... Yeah, we get the energy back. That's crazy. Can be daytime. Which we would prefer. Would we prefer? Not necessarily. It's already going to be light. So if it would be up to dim. What's the... What do we really gain out of... It? That... If we play this, we remove it from our deck, we play... It's not worth it. We need the... We need the block. Like, we could have saved... I guess, and stayed on dim so that we would... Prevent one of these hits. It's not that big of a deal to me. Couldn't care less. And I've tried. This card matters a lot less than it used to. We made it bad on purpose. Yeah, you just, we want it to be dark. Could have played that one into this one. This one in, and gone down and then removed the card and then... I think it's fine. I mean, this is a... This is, we, we kill if we play this one, right? Because we get the triple. That one does three damage. Crazy. It's crazy that that actually does three damage. It makes sense, visually. Fog. Four block moved to dim. I mean, that's... Nothing wrong with that. Uh... True Scythe is just Giga Scythe. I'm in. What? Hidden behind some old ruins, you find a large, unwieldy trident. You think you could make use of it. I mean, I have a feeling that I know what it is. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh. That's so specific and strange. That is so specific and strange. Oh! There we go. There we go. Salvage something. I mean... This isn't bad, especially because we, we could take one thing off of it. And it'd be a triple attack. Dim shield, I could see myself not... Let's salvage it. Get out of here. Better be a shield. It's a... Oh, it, it, we got the move to dim. That's probably better, if I'm going to be honest. Let's get a... On bright. On bright move to dim. Not going to want to use that as a payoff card. This doesn't even have an on bright slot, does it? Oh, we can make one. On bright, make dim. It's basically the same. It's just move down one. What if we play a card without shield pips? Add one. 
whenever you play a plus pip or a, you know, dim pip, add a shield pip. If the light level is dim, add two instead. I don't have a lot of cards without sword pips. I guess leaf is... Leaf is good. Your heart pips no longer have a chance to break... Oh, that's a relic that you have. Gotcha. Got some wild stuff happening here. I'm assuming you want it to be daytime, right? Dark? Okay. Daytime, you heal. Nighttime, you do damage. I don't really have that much shielding. So if it was dark, and you move it up to dim, you'd just be blocking, dealing damage yourself, moving it up to light, where you're going to go for super block. I don't mind that. We'll just get a couple of shield. Or you know what? We don't. We just don't. How about that? How about we just like... Start to murder you. If I move it to bright though, you go for the heal. I think that's better. Holy... Crap. There's a way to change the color palette. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I know you're going to get a million shields, but you're also not going to touch me. But also, I'm not going to do much here. Woof! Whoo, boy. Can I move it down anymore? I can't move it down anymore. We can only move it down one. Shoot. Hmm. Hmm, this is gonna hurt. At least I can get some mushroom blast action. Move it down to dark, please. All right. It's fine. Not bad. We got the freebie card here. Whoop. Beautiful. Oh my god, you gotta you gotta love it. I've made some really broken cards. Bye bye. Dim scrap. Impale. Can't we just, like, find a way to remove this from the card? Yeah. Oh my god, wait, though. Another thing that gives us this? This is, like, game-breaking. This is so good, but this one symbol is game- But it would take- It would take two- Two steals from this card to get it. I'll take Impale. Salvage card, salvage a card. I can maybe salvage that. Eh, I'll get rid of Quick Step at this point. Got another sword. Surely I left one at two. Or not. Or not. I don't know if it's I don't think it's two overall either. I think it's two that are present. So I'll work on eh. Wait, what? Wait, I could salvage it again if I wanted? If I do it that way? Huh. I 
feel like this one I feel like could go, but it also has the free um, trident being added to it, so it's like actually not bad. I feel like this shimmer I can get rid of at this point. Got a shield, good. Attached on the freebie, good deal. Whenever you play a mushroom pip spreads death pips instead, I don't know what that means. You are a stall god, it seems like. But if it's dark, you do literally nothing? Question mark? If it's dark, you don't play the game? <laughs> so let's make it. There's the, there's the drawback. There's, well, 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 if it isn't the consequence of my actions. I finally, I knew it was going to bite me in the butt at some point. I didn't think it'd be this early. Oh, well. Is it even worth? Oh, it's Zimmer. Okay, well, I guess this is actually... Okay, I may I maybe help myself out actually, but this is three, six, nine, twelve. Fifteen we can break the armor. But I can't quite kill. So it doesn't I don't know if it makes sense. Well, wait. No, I think I'm right. Um. It's dim. I think this is fine. I think we actually just kind of vibe here. I don't know. If, I still don't know at this point if I don't know. I mean, that's gonna be the two poison. But does poison block shield block poison? I don't know. I think we kind of just go for the smacking. But it's not enough. Five. We become daytime, does that help us? It kind of does, yeah. Does not require light level. We do want it to be day. Because he's going to gain that shield anyways. Now I'm going to be taking... Yeah, the poison blo it looks like that does just kind of go into my face no matter what. Big disgrace. God, he's a stall god. And by that, I mean stop it, dude. He is dead now. Get out of here. Get out of here. Moss mantle. Dang. Reassign. Slip bash. It's basically like a do I want to yank one of these for stealing purposes. And I think, yeah, I think I want to take moss mantle for salvage purposes. I thought I might get the shield out of it. That's a bummer, but oh well. I don't want to attach the shields up here because then it doesn't mess with the threes. Oh. Up and down pips now wrap the light level. This sure feels like a boss. He's breaking the UI, so I think he's a boss. Does not require a light level. Move down. Okay, so we want it to be light at the end of this. Oh, do we? Oh, no. The beast is upon us. 
feels very over the garden wall, in fact, this guy right here. Um, good God, there's actually not a good way to do this. We need it to be... Okay, we can't play this card, I don't think. So we need to keep it... We need to make it bright. That's the best we can do, is making it bright, because then we'll take the five here, and he won't be able to play this, because he's going to move it down. Because we're currently at neutral, we need to make it bright, which means we have to play this. And we can't move down. Might as well play this one right now. We're missing out on a bit for this, but oh well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's light right now, but it be, it's light and it moves down. So you're going to block four. Blast me a whole, just, I mean, you're going to blast me a whole bunch no matter what I do. Ow. So that does not play. Woo, boy. Um, so I need to make it, I need to make it light? Question mark? Because if it wraps, so this is. Deal one damage to opponent's threats. I think that that's probably still the best we can do because I can't have this happen. So if it's light, that would make it light would make it dark. So this wouldn't happen and this wouldn't happen. So this would happen, but I think that that's fine. Can I? I mean, well, okay, if, it, if everything wraps, then we should be able to do this anyways. Because we should, we should be able to wrap it as well, right? Oh, baby. Uh, I don't want to touch anything else. I know I had an extra energy, I just don't want to. Oh, get wrecked, baby! Alright, this is a dim poison. I mean, I really don't want that. Ay, ay, ay. So, if, if I make it... If I make it bright... This doesn't happen. This goes down to dim. So, I need to make it bright. Which I have a couple ways to do. Wait, it's dark right now? Oh, it is? Is it? It is. Okay. I can't... I can't kill, so we don't mess. So this bright, so this doesn't happen, then we go over here, this happens, we move down. Yeah, we're fine. This is like his least useful turn so far. Um, I, I, we probably don't have to care, but I, let's, for the sake of curiosity, let's care. Um, so we're at, we're at dim, this moves it to bright, bright. Ah, uh, we can't. <laughs> we, we have to have it be dim, which means we need to make it dark. Means we gotta make it dark. But I think we kill right here. Go for it. Don't you dare have another phase. Dimwood! A game! Bye!
Ink Spinner. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is really good. Like, it's weird because it's one of those ones where it's like, I, I love exactly every second of it so deeply that I'm like, oh, I want a bigger, bigger version of this. But I'm also like, it's kind of perfect. I don't know. Like, it's a perfect little free game right here. I... I just, it's just, I just really like it. It's it's kind of it's like an immaculate little thing right here. I highly recommend you go check it out and play it. There's some other symbols we hadn't got. I, here's what I think. I think that this this game right here, this version of it, is absolutely like a perfect little immaculate thing. I think if the dev like took this concept and ran to like a more full fledged different game in the future, inspired by this concept, God, I think you got a banger. This is like. The design sensibilities on this, it's just so elegant. It's so tight. It's so clean. There is just, there's no fluff to it whatsoever. It's just, ooh, what a, what a wonderful, wonderful thing. I just, I'm gushing, but it, game's free. For, for the price of free, this game is crazy. I, I can't believe it. Like, Really, 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 really enjoyed this one. Dimwood, go check it out. I'm definitely going to be watching what this creator does because, like, the design sensibilities, like I said, like, they are they are here. They are proven. I really liked this. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. My name is Retromation. If you like indie games, if you like roguelikes, this is a channel for you should be... That you should be... <laughs> what, am I, what am I talking about? I'm just... I'm like, I was in another plane. I don't know. I really liked it. Uh, thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day if that is a genre you're into. This is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Wow. Bye.